This is a uh, Sherman's perforator, mid-calf perforator. And we're going to show you they are preferred method of uh, treating these. This is pathologic in that it's very large. It does reflux. We're going to show you the color. You can see them compressing, letting go. And there's a lot of flow through this. This is from the posterior tibia through the perforator into a superficial varicostes here. So we'll show you our treatment here in just a second. Now here's the ultrasound before we start, and you can see the perforator we're going to do. So I'm going to show you in a minute uh, how we do this, and um, we're going to inject both foam and do a laser. So I'm going to show you that here now in just a second. Okay. So we're going to use a 16 gauge angiocath to access the perforator. You can also do this through a needle, but today we just have this cath, this angiocath. So we'll place a laser filament through here. After laser filament in, I'll then inject about 2 cc's of 1% silver duckle foam through here. I'll then put the laser filament in this area, through here into the perforator, and then we'll put tumescent, and then fire the laser after the foam's in. So I'm going to show you actually as we do this here in just a second. Okay. Now the laser filament's been placed, so next I'm going to do is just inject some tumescent into the perforator, no, correction, some foam into the perforator after I cannulate it with this small syringe. So we're going to mix the foam and I'll show you that in just a second. Okay. Now the foam is being injected. Now after injecting the foam, I'm going to put tumescent around the area where the perforator is so we can do the laser. And we'll show you that on the ultrasound just in a minute. Um, okay. Now we're injecting tumescent right around the laser tip. Yeah, it's right there in the middle. So we'll put some tumescent around there, and then we'll fire the laser here in just a second. There's good penetration, you see, of tumescent, of the correction of foam. It's on the lateral aspect there. So this is tumescent going around the perforator. The laser tip is right in the middle, right above this little needle edge right there. Okay. Now we're injecting tumescent right around the laser tip. It's right there in the middle. So we'll put some tumescent around there, and then we'll fire the laser here in just a second. There's good penetration, you see, of tumescent of the correction of foam that's on the lateral aspect there. So this is tumescent going around the perforator. The laser tip is right in the middle, right above this little needle edge right there. Okay. Now the laser is being fired at 10 watts through a 400 micron filament, continuous. You can see the bubbles streaming down the perforator. So we're actually doing the intravenous ablation in one area. And we can actually get about a centimeter, centimeter and a half probably, of damage secondary to the, uh, to the steam bubbles. So we've done both laser and Foam injection. You can see all the bubbles. Okay, we're done. So you can see we this is a laser filament we use. We went through a 16 angi cath. You can also use a needle, appropriate size, like an 18 gauge. And it has a bigger hub. You have to worry about the hub sometimes getting these laser filaments through. So once we put the laser filament in, once it was in place, we injected the foam. After that, we inject the tumescent around the area, and you can actually see the laser light, and you can make sure you're injecting over that. And then we fire the laser, you can see a little bit of char on the tip right here. So for a distance of about like this, you can get heat damage with the laser tip. We've also done foam, so we've had actual um, double injury, chemical and heat. And then afterwards, we'll check back here the popteal vein to make sure that the foam is all clear. Uh, which it usually does after this tumescence here. There's usually not very much foam that gets into the deep circuit. Okay.